But uh, uh, the focus remains the Adani Group, and the MSCI has now released the details of its February index review. CNBC TV18 also learns that the MSCI will implement changes to the free float and market capitalization in the Adani Group stocks on the 1st of March. Vivek joins in to tell us more about that. Vivek, what are the details of this review? Well, so, you know, the uncertainty regarding the treatment of the Adani Group stocks uh, within the MSCI index has now given way to clarity. Uh, so, uh, MSCI has told uh, CNBC TV18 exclusively that, you know, now what they're going to do is, at least in the Feb uh, index review, they're going to reduce the weightage of three of the stocks that had the highest weightage in the MSCI standard index. So, the three stocks that we're talking about are Adani Enterprises, Adani Total Gas, and Adani Transmission that had the highest weightage will see cuts as far as the weightage is concerned within the MSCI standard index. So this, uh, according to analysts, will uh, lead to some selling pressure on February 28th and the changes will be effective March 1st. So Adani Enterprises expect to see outflows of over $180 million. Adani Total Gas expect to see outflows of over $120 million. And Adani Transmission expect to see outflows of a little over $160 million. Now it's important to note that all of the Adani Group stocks that were part of the MSCI index continue to be a part of the index with uh, you know just the weightage being reduced. Now along with that, the other stocks that have been added to the index are Bank of Baroda as well as CG Power. And the stock that has been deleted from the MSCI standard index is actually Biocon. So back of Baroda analysts are expecting uh, you know, flows of over $130 million, while CG Power expected to see flows of close to $150 million. Biocon is expected to see outflows of over $75 million. Lastly, you know, there are a whole host of other stocks as well that will be impacted, given the fact that in the MSCI small cap index, there are 24 additions and 5 deletions, and a lot of these stocks are active in the session today. All right, some very important details and stock-specific uh, inflow as well as outflow there. Thanks so much, Vivek, for getting us all those details from MSCI Index. Moving on then, the UP Global Investor Summit was inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi this morning. And the summit aims to bring in investment flows 